Good afternoon, dear friends. We are beginning this mass of Wednesday, the 11th week of 11th week in ordinary time. This mass is going to be offered for the intentions you have sent. We pray for our sick care in our hospitals, pray for our nurses and doctors and all medical care workers. That God may bless their ministry with healing in its care. We also pray for those who have died from here or those who have died around the world from coronavirus. We ask God's rest and peace. We pray for our country in this very turbulent time that the decisions our leaders make do only serve to bring peace to every heart and every will. We also pray for those who have special days today, birthdays or anniversaries, that God may bless and grant them many more years to celebrate. I'll invite you to bring your intentions to God's altar at this time and let us worship and pray. Our opening hymn today will be Table of Plenty. Table of Plenty. Come to the feast of heaven on earth. Come to the table of plenty. God will provide for all that we need. Here are the table of plenty. Who oh, come and sit at my table, where saints and sinners are friends. I wait to welcome the lost and lonely to share the cup of my love. Come to the feast of heaven on earth, come to the table of plenty. God will provide for all that we need. Here are the table of plenty. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God our Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear friends, we are gathered here in this holy space where God invites us to share the blessings of his love. This Mass is offered for your intentions and for all those who have asked us to pray for them. Let us confess our sins and ask God's mercy and forgiveness. You were sent to heal the contrite, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners to repentance, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. May He forgive us our sins. May he bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, strength of those who hope in you, graciously hear our pleas, and since without you mortal frailty can do nothing, grant us always the help of your grace, that in following your commands, we may please you by our resolve and our deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns forever, and Amen. A reading from the second book of Kings. When the Lord was about to take Elijah up to heaven in a whirlwind, he and Elisha were on their way from Gilgal. Elijah said to Elisha, Please stay here. The Lord has sent me unto the Jordan. As the Lord lives, and as you yourself live, I will not leave you, Elisha replied. And so the two went on together. Fifty of the guild prophets followed, and when the two stopped at the Jordan, they stood facing them at a distance. Elijah took his mantle, rolled it up, and struck the water, which divided, and both crossed over on dry ground. When they had crossed over, Elijah said to Elisha, Ask for whatever I may do for you before I am taken from you. Elisha answered, May I receive a double portion of your spirit? You have asked something that is not easy, Elijah replied. Still, if you see me taken up from you, your wish will be granted, otherwise not. As they walked on conversing, a flaming chariot and a flaming horses came between them, and Elijah went up to heaven in a whirlwind. When Elisha saw it happen, he cried out, 
my father, my father, Israel's chariots and drivers. But when he could no longer see him, Elisha gripped his own garment and tore it in two. Then he picked up Elisha's, Elijah's mantle that had fallen from him and went back and stood at the bank of the Jordan. Wielding the mantle that had fallen from Elijah, Elisha struck the water in his turn and said, Where is the Lord, the God of Elijah? When Elisha struck the water, it divided and he crossed over. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let your hearts take comfort, all who hope in the Lord. Let, Let your, your hearts, hearts take, take comfort, comfort all, all who hope, hope in the Lord. Lord. How great is the goodness, O Lord, which you have in store for those who fear you, and which toward those who take refuge in you, you show in the sight of the children of men. Let your hearts I take comfort, comfort all who hope in the Lord. Lord. You hide them in the shelter of your presence from the plottings of men. You screen them within your abode from the strife of tongues. Let, Let your Lord hearts take comfort, all who hope in the Lord. Love the Lord, all you his faithful ones. The Lord keeps those who are constant, but more that requits them, requits those who act proudly. Let, Let your hearts, hearts take comfort, comfort all who hope in the Lord. Alleluia. Sisters and brothers, the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, Take care not to perform righteous deeds in order that people may see them. Otherwise, you will have no recompense from your heavenly Father. When you give alms, do not blow a trumpet before you, as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets, to win the praise of others. Amen, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you give alms, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing, so that your alms giving may be secret, and your father who sees in secret will repay you. When you pray, do not be like the hypocrites who love to stand and pray in the synagogue and in street corners so that others may see them. Amen, I say to you, they have received their reward. When you pray, go to your inner room, close the door, and pray to your Father in secret. Your Father who sees in secret will repay you. When you fast, do not look gloomy like the hypocrites. They neglect their appearance so that they may appear to others to be fasting. Men, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you fast, anoint your head and wash your face so that you may not appear to others to be fasting except to your father. Who is hidden and your father who sees what is hidden will repay you the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus, jesus christ my dear friends i will quickly pro project two things for reflection today the first is from the first reading jesus told us in matthew's gospel ask and you shall receive Seek and you shall find, knock, and the door will be open. There are so many of us who come to God like 
timid people. There's a timidity about our approach to God. God gave us the right to ask. And this right is not dependent on anything I do or anything you do. It's dependent on the graciousness of God. If someone ever understood that it's Elisha, Elijah said to him, ask me whatever you want right now. Guess what he's asking Elisha? He's asking him for almost something he would consider impossible. Says, he had seen, now Elisha had seen Elijah do a lot of great things. And I'm sure he admired the power God has given to Elijah. So he says to Elijah, give me a double share of your spirit. That means the power with which you're able to do things. I want a double of that. Now, Elijah only got one portion. Elisha is asking for a double portion of that. And I think I, I, I admire this guy. He is not shy before God. He understands his place. He knows he is a beloved of the Almighty God. And he has that, that confidence in asking for what it is. I, I think about how often people find conflicts in their families because they are not able to ask what they need, how they need it, and clearly and directly. And so sometimes we have needs. We never ask. We never express. We always imagine the other person should know what I want. That's not what God wants us to do. God knows everything we want, but he still asks us, say it out. Tell me that you want it. But more than just telling me what you want, show me that you have prepared for it. This is what um, Eli Eli Elijah said to Elisha. He says, if you can see me taken from you, your wish will be granted. That means there's some portion of this you're going to do. If you prepare for all of this, if you have prepared for it, all right, you will get what you want because God is never going to give you what he knows you will be mismanaged or will not manage very well. He will not do that because he himself said it. He says, if you have shown yourself to be, uh, to be trustworthy or to be reliable in small things, then I will give you great things. So you have to prepare for what it is you're asking God so that when God gives that to you, you're able to manage and to handle it just so he can take it to another level. So when Elijah said to Elisha, if you can see when I'm taken up, you will receive whatever it is. The fact that he was able to see tells me Elisha wasn't asking for something he could not manage. He had prepared for this moment. And he was willing to ask no less. He was willing to ask the best from God. And boy, did he get it. Yes, he did. Go back and read the ministry and life of Elisha. You will realize that he actually got a double share of what he was asking for because he had prepared for it. Is there something you're asking from, from God? Are you still waiting for it? Maybe it's time to stop asking and then take, moment, take a moment and a moment of introspection. Have I really prepared for what I'm asking God for? Because God is never going to give me something he knows I have never prepared myself for it. God will not do that. So first, prepare yourself to manage what God is going to give to you. Ask for it with confidence. And our good God will keep his word. Because what he says he will do, he will do it. He will give it to you if he knows you will be the best possessor of this grace or of this gift. That's the first thing I want us to think about. If there's something you're asking God for right now, whatever it is, to be, to, to be married, are you prepared to be a wife or prepared to be a good husband? To be a parent, are you prepared to be a good parent? Are you prepared to be um, a, a, good, a good manager or prepared to be a good employee? What is, whatever it is you ask me, ask yourself, am I sure in my mind, in my spirit, in my disposition, I'm prepared for this. If you are prepared for it, ask for it in confidence and God will do it. That's not what I'm saying. That's what the Bible has said. And the second thing I want um, you to take home today is about purifying our motives. Purifying our motives. Th there is um, a very pressing need to be noticed. 
to be recognized, to be affirmed, to be approved. And it's so elemental to who we are as human beings that there are times where everything we do is done just for that sake, that someone sees what I'm doing, that someone tells me good job, that someone appraises me for what I've done. And what scripture is saying is that if we do the good we do just for that sake, we will get what we want. We will be the good guy. We will be the good friend. We will be the good chaplain. We will be the good priest. We will be everything. But if that's all we're doing it for, we may not have earned God's praise because we did not do it for God. We did it to gain the attention and the respect of others. And if you still care so much about people's opinion, that everything you do is meant to satisfy the opinion of people about you, maybe that's some area you want to check and work on. Because that's all this text is talking about. That if you must care about anything, care about his opinion of you. And his opinion is not something we can hide. It's always visible to him. Yes, I could do things to win your opinion, but God knows what my motivations are when I do. So we pray, dear friends, that God's grace may help, may help us purify our intentions, that the things we do, sure, others will see the things we do, but let not their approval be the reason why we do it. Will you still do that same thing if no one was seeing you? Will you still do that, do that same thing if no one ever heard that you did it? Will you still do it? If you were able and willing to do all of those things that you do in public, privately, where no one hears, no one knows, and do them with the same zeal and the same dedication and the same devotion and sacrifice, then, in the words of the Lord Jesus, you are very close to the kingdom of heaven. You are very close to the kingdom of heaven. As always, I like to end my reflections by reminding you that you are still the delight of the Almighty God and that God loves you very much. Let us pray. Most merciful God, we thank you for everything that you do. What an outstanding God you are. Today, you reveal to us that you care for our needs. And so we beg you, that you may hear the prayers we bring here today. We pray for those who are sick, that you may grant healing. We pray for those who are stressed, that you may grant peace. We pray for those who live in fear, that you may grant courage. We pray for those who, whose families are in crisis, that you may bring reconciliation. We pray, Almighty God, for all those who are grieving at this time, that they may find and experience your comfort. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our country. In this time of great tension and divisions, racial tensions and divisions, we pray, Almighty God, that every citizen in our country may know peace. Peace that will help us see each other for who we are, your children and nothing less. We pray that you may help our leaders at this moment to think about what is best for social stability and just lay aside their politics and think about what will help our nation heal. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for victims of human injustice. Pray especially for those who are in jail today, not for any offense they have done, but because the system failed them, that you, O oh God, may help them find justice. We pray. To the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the sick, pray especially for those in critical care here in our hospital and around the world, that your grace for healing may be granted to them in full measure, and that their healing may be spread up. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who have birthdays or anniversaries today, weddings, anniversaries today. We ask Almighty God that you may bless them with the grace, the grace to celebrate this opportunity in better circumstances. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us ask our Blessed Mother to pray for us as we say the Hail Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. 
To you do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To you do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this veil of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, your eyes of mercy towards us. And after this our exile, show unto us a blessed fruit of our own Jesus. O Clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. Amen. Blessed are thy Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made, it will become our bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are thy Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruits of the vine and work of human hands become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my beloved sisters and brothers, pray that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, our mighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice and yours. For the praise of the Lord of his name. For good and good of all his holy church. Amen. O God, who in the offerings presented here provide for the twofold needs of human nature, nourishing us with food and renew us with your sacraments, grant, we pray, that the sustenance they provide may not fail us in body or in spirit. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, your word through whom you made the universe, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit, and born of the virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people. He stretched out his hands as he endured his passion so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with angels and saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we are claim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, 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 God of hosts, heaven and earth, earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like a dew fall, that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, the Lord Jesus took bread, giving thanks, he broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up to you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, the Lord took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. With the first acclamation, let us proclaim the mystery of our faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and this chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Timothy our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all we pray that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, 
the blessed Joseph as spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have placed you throughout the ages. You may become the merit to the co heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Let us rise and pray in the words our Lord gave us. Our Father, Lord, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord Jesus be with you always. And with your spirit. Dear friends, may we offer each other the sign of God's peace. And from me to all of you who are watching from your hospital rooms or around the world, may God's peace rest with you now and always. Amen. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Look up, my sisters and brothers, look up and behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy, worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word in my soul. May the body and blood of Christ bring us all to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Let us pray at this time for all those who are unable to receive the body and blood of Christ on this day. Most gracious God, you bring us your body to nourish our souls and our spirits. There are so many right now who cannot participate directly in this sacrament. We beg you, O oh God, that they may experience the power of spiritual communion, that their lives, their souls, and their spirits may be enriched by the desire to receive you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
let us pray. As this reception of your holy communion, O Lord, foreshadows the union of the faithful in you, so may it bring about unity in your church. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us say a prayer to St. Michael the Archangel. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits that prowl throughout the world, seeking the winds of souls. Amen. Before the final blessing, I'd like to take a moment to express my thanks to all of you for joining us at this Mass. Pray that God's grace may be with you to meet every need you have. And if you forget anything and everything I said today, don't forget this. This is about 1131, and you are still with the light of the Almighty God. God loves you very much. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Through the prayers of our Blessed Mother, may God bless and keep you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Dear friends, this Mass is ended. We go forth in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks Have an outstanding day. Thanks Let us sing a hymn to our Blessed Mother. Let us sing, Hail Holy Queen and throne above. Hail Holy Queen and throne above. Oh Maria. Hail Mother of mercy and of love. Oh Cherubim sing with us, ye seraphim. Heaven and earth sound the hymn. Salve, 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 Regina. Hail, holy Queen and true above. Sir.